Let's get into it. Ain't nothing to it. But to do it. All right, let me stop messing around. All right, y'all, we about to react to Chris Sales expo exposing my true feelings about Leslie. It gets emotional. I, I wonder why it gets emotional, but we're going we gonna to see exactly why. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Turn your post notifications so you know I'm dropping these reactions. Also, make sure you share this video, man. Share it with your mama, your cousin, your daddy, your auntie, your grandpa, your baby, your baby's baby, that baby's baby. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like I said, we're on the grind. We're 11 subs off of 100. we big grinding, man. Turn me up. Don't turn me down. Let's get it. After the last video I did, me and Leslie got into our first argument. Um, um, I seen a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say about the things that I was saying and my point of view on a lot of things or the topic that we was talking about. So I'm gonna expose my true feelings for Leslie. I think that Leslie is an amazing, beautiful girl. And she deserves the world. And this is me being genuine and open to you guys. Um, first and foremost, let me just let me just start off with me and Leslie is not in a relationship, guys. We don't know what the future is gonna hold, but I know everybody said, "Oh, they must be in, in a relationship." They must I thought they was in a relationship, but like I said, they just got. I guess good. they just got a good vibe with each other. A stage where someone dates, they get to know the person. I know people want to see us together so bad, but I don't want to rush things, and Leslie don't want to rush things. And Leslie just got out of a relationship, um, so I want Leslie to take time aside from herself, you know, as well, only because I care about her. You know, I don't want her jumping into something, a, a relationship, and she had not feel fully or whatever the case may be. I, I respect know, it. I want her to take time to heal, and that's because I truly care. And if I didn't, I'd be trying to jump into this relationship. Or do yep, that, that's facts. That type of person, I want her to truly heal. Um, take a real part to do so that. Why, like I said, I know everybody keeps trying to put us together, guys, but I know you guys want to see us together. And I know you guys love us, you know, our chemistry, everything, and I do too, and it's amazing. And honestly, I didn't think we were even, to be true with you, so I didn't even think we were, we, we would have this such of a vibe, you know, I have a vibe like this with nobody in a long time. I didn't know we were going to vibe like this. I didn't know, you know, you know, sh she would... I didn't know like she was gonna. She was just such a sweet girl. I mean, I kind of knew from social media, from like past times when I've spoken to her, but I didn't know in person. You know, she was such you know beautiful, sweet. Excuse you know, me, y'all. Um, for the yawning, man. You know, I had a long she, day. She really respect herself. I can say that she really, really, truly respect herself. And this is you know I, I don't think people see that you know. Um, and you know. I think that, I, and I'm gonna put out there. Could we get in a relationship? I don't know. Maybe. I think they could. I don't know. Maybe we might say. Time, time will, time will, time will tell. Just like she said, the only time will tell. All down the line. You have to let time, you know, go by. When time go by, so and let time really, show. Like, you know, if if it's meant for y'all to to get together, more then y'all win. You know, and really truly get to know each other. You know, we haven't been around each other that that long. And I want, and I want my next girlfriend to be my wife. You know, so if I date Leslie, she for sure want to be my wife. No if ands and buts. So my next girl, as you guys know, I was married before. I was married at a young age. I believe in marriage. I want to get married. I want to have a big wedding. So I'm on the beach somewhere with horses taking me down the aisle. That sound like a dope blow wedding. Romantic, you know, I, 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 I believe in marriage. You know, my mom and dad is married. You know, I grew up believing in uh, marriage. That's why I got married before. You know, things didn't work out, but life move. You know, life goes on. Yep. And you keep pushing. Life definitely goes goes on, man. Put two things together. One one cookie don't together. stop don't stop a bus. Okay. That's even better can happen. That that didn't go together, but y'all get the point. You know, so um, like I said, Leslie is a, is a, is a intelligent girl. She's very smart. I know I still have growing to do. I'm not all the way there, guys. I'm not, you know, I'm still 
I, I've spent a lot of time focusing on myself and I've seen a lot of old things that I had, old ways that I had, and I want to just be better for myself. As you guys can tell, I just want to be better for myself. Nothing that me and Leslie do on camera is fun. Like all of those are genuine vibes. You can't fake chemistry. You gotta be better for yourself because at the end of the day, if you're not if you're not good within yourself or happy within yourself, you can't be good for somebody else, yo. And that's just a fact, for real. You gotta love yourself before you expect somebody else to love you. That's real. And sometimes it's good to work on yourself and better yourself. So the next person you get with. You'll be good. And even if you don't go to somebody, you'll be good. Men mentally, physically, emotionally, all that. Even if you don't. Even if you don't get with nobody. And I told her, she's for sure going to be a star one day. She's for sure going to be, you know, she's for sure going to, you know, be a star. She's for sure going to be a star. I see it in her. You know, even if she didn't see it in herself, I want to put that and start that in her head. That she's going to be so, you know, she's already special. You know, she's already special to me. But I want her to know that she's going to be a star. So I'm hard on her when it comes to a lot of things that you guys don't see. You know, let's do, let's do, the, you know, do this, let's do this. You know, I, I'm, 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 I'm pushing her to work. I'm, I want her work ethic to be on point. I want her to get up, work, 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 work. Because I, I look at lady like, people love her. People love her. People love us. People love her. And I said, it's, it's no reason you should be working again. There's no reason you should got a coffee and you're like, you're beautiful. You got your own brand. She got, she, she Bro, if you could, if you could work, if you could work and be your own boss, man, that's the best. That's the best thing, pop. That's the best thing ever, yo. And just be able to do what you love. That's amazing. I'm gonna get there. I'm manifesting it. Things don't happen overnight, y'all, and that's a fact. You gotta put in the work. Gotta grind. Gotta, gotta manifest. Gotta speak into existence. You gotta do all that. That's that's how I really feel, you know. I'm just not that type of person that's gonna rush anything right now. Cause like I said, my next girlfriend is going to be my wife. For sure. She's she's for sure gonna be my wife. No, I'm not I'm not taking no for an answer. Mm -hmm. So when we get together, we get in we're getting married. Just know we get getting married. Don't I say that? When you have to look, oh, oh. Stupid ass. <laughs> But like I said, <laughs> I got a couple of kids out here just roaming on the earth. That's one of them right now. Yes. Yes, baby, come here. Hi, baby. Say 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 hi, it's all over your face. Like he loves his son to death. Ugh. Priceless. <laughs> um, yeah, but like I said, my next relationship, I for sure want to be married. I don't want to be... The, the reason I want to get in a relationship is to build with somebody, build a foundation, Love that person and vice versa. I want to be loved. I want to make a commitment with that person. And uh, the last video, one of my aspects on what cheating and was not cheating, you guys could totally disagree. You know, sometimes the truth hurts. I know a lot of people got mad when I said guys get tired of having sexual intercourse with the same girl. That don't mean that person is going to cheat. Sometimes we do. It's the truth. I want people to hear the truth. They, they, they scared. Because people rather hear a lie than the truth, truth man. Truth. People don't like hearing the truth. It's the truth. When I say things, and sometimes I think Truth hurts, I but shit, it need to be said. So open it, and I want to live in my truth now. I, I used to always live in a lie all the time. And then it took me to a lower place in my life because I used to lie to myself. Like, nah, nah. But the most important thing that you could ever do is be real with yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to be real with anybody... Be real with yourself. You have to. A lot of people don't do that. And it's hard to do that nowadays. Because it makes them uncomfortable. And we like to be comfortable. Mm. 
If somebody can sit in the bed and bed day all day and not have to go to work, I guarantee you they're gonna pick and choose to do that because nobody likes to be uncomfortable. Um, so, <laughs> so pretty. All I'm really saying is that he's speaking you know, fast, yo, yeah, for real. When I when I say things, I know people hold everything. I say. Did you just call? Yeah. <laughs> I know when I say things, people really hold everything. He cutting up in there. <laughs> I know when I say things, people hold everything that I say against me. And, um, and y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I've been happy. I've really truly been happy, man. I don't know what it is about Lakey, but I've been happy around her. I've been happy, you know, for her company. I know I had a, a lot of things. It happened in my past. Like I hate, I hate to bring it up, but that doesn't define who I am, guys. That doesn't define who I am. It doesn't, because Cause people can't change, you huh? Hadn't I been on social media and made those mistakes? It wouldn't even been talked about. You know what? I'm glad I made mistakes. I never thought that. Before. I'm, I'm glad I made mistakes in my life. You know what? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing there's nothing wrong with making mistakes in life as long as you learn from. As long as you learn from them, and you don't keep making those same mistakes. Now, if you make a, if you making mistakes and you keep making the same mistake over and over, then at that point, I just feel like you don't really care. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep making the same mistake. But in life, you gotta go, you gotta go through shit. You gotta make mistakes to to learn, to grow. Just in general, yo. Don't let nobody tell you different. It helped, you know, the business it helps you become who you are, yo. It helped me better myself. Yep. My mistakes. You know why? Because I seen how so many people judge me. I seen how so many people uh, uh, hated me. I seen how so many people switched on me. And I looked at it like, damn, you know, how is this person judging me? But they doing this, doing this. And then how is this person judging me? But they doing this. But then I was being the same like them. I was judging and I was being a hypocrite because I did dirt. And they did and dirt. Here it is um, in my head, like, why are you judging me? But you're, you did this, you did. And I said, I'm not supposed to be doing that. I can't do that. I'm not, that's not the right way to do things. It's not my place to judge that person because they're judging me. And I looked at it as, dang, I need to better myself because I was doing the same thing that they were doing to me to other people. And it helped me realize, just focus on yourself, man. You got to. If you really Take too much energy to focus on other people and what the hell they got going on. Yourself, you will see so much in other people without even judging them anymore. Y'all better listen, you man. Know, you will. You will see so much. Even people flawed, you're not going to judge them. Because who am I to judge this person? Who am I to say... I don't like this person because of this. That that's me being the biggest hypocrite in the world. Cause I do things. I'm not perfect. Nobody. Nobody is. is. And we all like to judge other people, but it's time to stop doing that. It's time to just focus on yourself. Judge yourself how you judge other people. I bet you can't do that. That's the realest thing I just ever said. Judge yourself how you that judge is other real. people. And I bet you won't do it. Write a list out. This is exactly how you judge other people. Judge yourself. And if you can't do it, then there's something wrong. Because when you look in the mirror, and if you see there's nothing wrong with you, who do you need help? I'm going to just be honest. Do you need help? If you look in the mirror, and you see there's nothing wrong with you, you think you're perfect, then something is wrong with you. But if you can look in the mirror and acknowledge the flaws that you have, I need to work, I need to get better in this area. I need to get better in this area. Everybody got things that they can work on or things that they can do better. That's you living in your truth. <clears throat> the truth shall set you free. So when I say things a lot of the times, I don't mean to hurt anybody. I don't mean for you to look at me a certain way. You know, it's just, I'm just living in my truth. But I know some things Leslie told me last night. I said, Chris, some things are just better left unsaid. And I just fully didn't understand. I understand it, but why is things left better left unsaid? We know what people told us, like we know what people said, oh yeah, some things are just better left unsaid, but why? Why do I, why, why should, why, why can't I say my truth without people judging me? Why? 
the world we lived yeah, in. Think about that. I was always taught that like some things you shouldn't have to say, some things but but as I got older, why on the internet people can say whatever it is that they want to say, but then when I say my truth is it's also wrong. Why people on the internet can say anything, they talk to you any type of mm -hmm. way, but it don't apply to them, but then it applies to me. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. saying. So like people can go on the internet say all types of cool, all I, I get exactly what you're saying. Oh, you, you this, you this, you that. Because it makes a lot of sense on the internet, like you said. If some things are barely left unsaid, then why do people say crazy stuff out the side of their neck to YouTubers or just people in general? People, people that's like exposing themselves on the internet. People, people say whatever they want. They're not leaving things unsaid. They're saying what they want. You, he, you got to think about like that. It. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but then when I say something, then it's the truth. You know, certain things are better left unsaid. I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. But it's like, why though? Why should I hold my tongue for anybody? Why do we have to hold our tongue for anybody? No, that's a different thing. I about say it. it's, 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 I, know, I know you can say things disrespectful. It's not about what you say, it's how you say it's about, it. Yeah, so don't say that's about how you say it. You can say something, but it's about how you say it in your tone. I believe you don't have to hold your tongue for anybody. And I feel like whatever your truth is, is your truth. If you're not harming nobody, putting nobody in danger, if you're not talking about nobody, bad about nobody, if you're not judging nobody, doing this, but you just speak your truth, prime example. Me, when I said, guys get tired of vagina, people say, oh, Chris, you messed up for that. Oh, Chris, you got to But it's the truth. Females do too. Females get tired of their guys. Females get tired of having sexual intercourse with the, with the same guy. It's true. Mm. Chris, like, I'm just telling y'all how it is, man. Because I said it. And everybody else feel the same way, they just don't say it. And, 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 and I get it. Like, I, I get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, oh, you shouldn't say it. But watch. I don't want to hold my tongue. I don't want to have to be quiet. Because if I want to express that, I want to express that. It's like if you got a shit. And you don't, and you don't shit, you don't have diarrhea. Your stomach going to start hurting. It's going to start bubbling and up and shit like that. You need to get that out. So whatever it is that's on my mind, and, and, and if I'm having a yeah, I'm saying. I want to get whatever it is on my mind out. I don't want to leave anything out. You feel me? But that's a whole other topic. Sorry for getting on topic. But like I said, I told you how I feel about Lady. I think she's a phenomenal. And I think that we can really build something special. And I will, I'm, I'm always going to protect Lady. I will always admire and adore Lady forever and ever. Um... Because she made some mess, and I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of Leslie. I don't even know how proud I am of Leslie. She made some mess, and I'm just so proud of her. Man. What risk she? What risk y'all think she'd have made? I think she'd have moved out there. Now I don't think she. I think she's just out there right now. And they get into the money. They're growing together. They're working together. They doing their thing. I mess with it. We all in this together. We want to bring y'all along on the road with us to see us, see our growth, to see where we're gonna be. In the next couple months, in the next couple years, we want y'all to come with us. We want all you guys that love us and watch us, we want you guys to come with us, okay? Um, that's all I got for this video. I think you don't watch this video. But, um, I love you guys. My bad, y'all. The video will just be in it, so I'm. Okay. Mm. That was a cool little video. Make sure y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Turn on post notifications so you know I'll, so you know when I'm dropping my reactions. Also, make sure you share the video, man. Share the video with your mama, your cousin, your daddy, your auntie, your grandpa, your baby, your baby's baby, your baby that's still brewing. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like I said, we on the grind. We, we dropping videos every day as long as God's willing, and we getting straight to it, man. Turn me up, don't turn me down. Let's get it.